How's it going, guys? We're back for some more Pokemon Sword, and uh, like last episode and the episode before that, we had to handle some super Dynamaxed Pokemon that have been causing chaos. Now we have three more left, and then I expect we're gonna have to fight the Doofuses again. Uh, I'm not really sure on that though, or maybe we'll fight the Legendary Dog before them. I don't know. Apparently, they got into this door behind us there, and now we can't get into it somehow. So we're gonna go deal with them. The old Dynamax first. Whoa! Don't be lagging on me now. I want none of those frame droppages. Okay, so now we're on Stow on side. What oh, is this? The fighting gym? So we're gonna fight a fighting type. Not that it really matters. I mean, we're using a dragon for. We're using him for everything. He's he's able to destroy Dynamax Pokemon. There's really no reason to think about it. You all, did you come to lend us a hand? Yes, something like that. How are things looking? We just finished getting everyone to safety, so I was about to challenge that Dynamax Pokemon. Nice one, and let's all work together. I give you my most heartfelt thanks. We've got several opponents, so we may as well take one each. I'm counting on all of you. Here we go. Our eyes changed to some serious mode there. A little worried about taking one and one on one other than the dragon one, because the dragon one made sense. This one, not so much. And it's a co oh, that's gonna hurt. All right. We're just gonna hit you with Dynamax Cannon. I probably will not one-shot him, but it did a lot of damage. Ow. That's gonna hurt a lot because it's ice. Why does he have an ice move? Owie. I am faster, so I can finish him in the next fight. It's not really a big deal. I bet his ice move was like Ice Punch or something. It's the only thing I can think of it being. And down he goes. I think we should be able to sweep these last three this episode. We'll see what happens. I can't thank you all enough. With your help, the Dynamax Pokemon have all return been returned to the normal. I'll keep them, keep them safe here in the stadium, so no need to worry. Moon Man, next time I'll be the one who saves you in your hour of need. Give me a call if you're ever in a rough spot. I'm gonna get like pushed back by like the bad guys and all the gym leaders are gonna show up and just destroy the dude that tries to mess with the champion. It's gonna be great. If there are any other places that need a champion's help, please go look after them. I'll protect the peace on Stone Side Stadium with all my might. Okay. Moon Man! We've got to go help out the others, other places with Dynax Pokemon are running wild. Looks like there are just two Pokemon stadiums left to check. One of them's definitely going to end up at his. By foreshadowing of him being worried the whole time. Even though he doesn't have a stadium for it. It's going to cause the most chaos there because it's going to blow his stadium up or something. Alright. Let's head to the next one. Oh, the old fairy one, huh? That's gonna be a problem for my dragon buddy. Huh, I mean, I do have cross poison, so I'm super effective to them. Do I even risk one-shotting them? Either way, we have to heal, because our guy took quite the beating. Man, the frame. I'm gonna have to reset this something for the next episode, because this thing is... Lagging tremendously. 
Oh, running into a wall. That seems normal. Uh, I always forget about this dude with the fire outfit. I wonder if he actually has anything important. I'll come back eventually, maybe. Of course, I'm getting towards the end here. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I keep forgetting about him. And there's Bead. Mm, you lot. Bead? What about the Dynamax Pokemon? You think I, the elite fairy type gym leader, would have any kind of trouble? That's right. <laughs> That's right. You're a gym leader now. I don't know about a lead or whatever. Please, please don't tell me you came here to help. First of all, you're a bit late to be any use. And second, I didn't need any help. Why'd I know you'd say something like that? We come all the way out here to just to lend a hand. What an obnoxious gym leader. The next gym challenge is shopping, is shopping up to really be something. Only Anna tricked me and used me. From now on, I only I decide how I live. And I think what I should do now is have a battle with you, Moon Man. Look, I'm sorry, but this is hardly the time. Don't always be in such a hurry, boy. You aced my quiz, so show a little composure. Beat has already quieted, quieted three Dynamax Pokemon. He's given you the luxury of some extra time. Beat's life won't be bound by what other people say any longer. Although I certainly influenced a few of his decisions not too long ago. Now that you mention it, I suppose you did. Yeah, yeah. As expected of a wise 88-year-old granny, I guess. That voice changed completely to like a New York accent. This has nothing to do with Miss Opal. This battle's for me. Now, don't dilly-dally. Your only option is to accept. Okay. My Pokemon and I have risen from the ashes. I'll grant you a brief glimpse at how amazing we've become. Well, people keep leveling up, and it's not really helping me because I'm not getting a lot of XP from all these battles. So it's really, really not working. My gym days as a gym leader have made me stronger than you. I mean, I'm the champion. I had to fight all the gym leaders and fight the champion of the gym leaders. So I have no idea how you imagine that's correct, but okay. I'll go with whatever you say, buddy. Now, the problem here is... What do I have for Fairy-type Pokemon other than Steel right now? I, oh, I guess she's Steel, so I have Fire. <laughs> that would make sense. And I have... Okay, I have Golurk with Earthquake. That makes sense, too. I could hit it with a Flamethrower with the Turnitus, and I think I would probably be faster, and it would probably knock him out. Even though, if I don't knock her out in one hit, I get knocked out, probably. All right, we're good. All right, now who are we fighting? Gardevoir. Let's just go with Corviknight here. Well, nah, we'll go with the Gar Corviknight. I'm not taking anything out of. Yeah, we should be good. Yeah. Now, Gardevoir, I was about to say, is going to be stronger and probably faster. I'm a little worried about There's no way I can one-shot her. I think even with the Hone Claws, I don't think I'm going to one-shot her. Ooh. Maybe I should have Hone Claws. Ooh, it's close, but I'm going to have to take that hit next turn, which sucks. And she's going to be faster. Well, I'm going to take the hit no matter what now. Nice one shot though with a crit. Look at you go, buddy. Uh, question is, do I have anything that's immune to psychic? I don't think so. I can go to turn it is, but he's a poison type, so psychic would hurt. Port change. What is that? With a mysterious power, this user swaps the effects of either side of the field. That's a cool ability, and for, for like for competitive, that could be really nice. 
for spikes and stuff, but I don't think that's going to really benefit me much right now. I could get rid of double kick, though. I don't really need it. I have Iron Head. And if I'm fighting a normal type Pokemon, I mean, Pyro Ball will be enough to destroy most normal type Pokemon. Double kick's just too weak. We'll just get it to have it. Rapidash. Another Psychic Fairy, so no. Actually, you know what? I should get a boost in it. Ah, I'm gonna take that hit now. <laughs> Honestly, he's probably the best at taking it anyway. I'm waiting for that future sight. It's coming. That's gonna hurt. It's alright, we're good. Get another Hone Claws here just to finish the, both of you. That's physical. That's gonna do even less damage. Alright. Now I won't miss with Steel Wing ever, and you're gonna get one shot every time. You just keep trying, buddy. Maybe you'll crit me one of these times. All right. And then Hatterini again. You just might be the strongest champion in Oak Gallery in history. I mean, definitely still got a ways to go. Make sure you draw out every last bit of strength. I'll draw out every last bit of strength in you. Something like that. It shuddered. I'd shudder too if it was a plus two and using a super effective move against me. Alright, good XP. Seems uh, like he actually accepted it. This must be some mistake. I mean, I'm the one who's the gym leader. And I'm the one who beat all the gym leaders. I'm like a tier higher than gym leader. You can't challenge me unless you beat all the gym leaders, plus beat them all again in a challenge, and then beat all the challengers, and then you can face me. That's where I'm at right now. Do you not understand I am the champion now? Like, I don't think he understands. Thank you for the battle. I can now accept you as a champion. It's painful to admit, but I've come to realize a few of my weaknesses. But I'll keep getting stronger. I'll reach the pinnacle of what fairy types can do. Rare league card, yay. Now then, as a gym leader, I will do my duty and clean the stadium. <laughs> Sounds like he's just a... Uh, he's just a maid for her. Now that what I call would call a perfectly pink Pokemon battle. Oh, no, that's what I'd call a perfectly pink Pokemon battle. Even after his right to uh, participate in the gym challenge, Bede still found on his own way to crash the Champion Cup. Yeah, I'd say he's a force to be reckoned with. I think I get why he was chosen to be the next gym leader. He might be unbearable at times, or really most of the time, but he's a fierce trainer. Yeah, watching him battle you, it was plain to see how much work he puts into it. Really? Eh, not really. If you both are gonna keep talking, how about I fetch you a nice cuppa? Right, right, I hear you. And I won't be outdone by the beat or, by that beat or anyone. On to the next one. All right. Also, oh, looks like most of the stadiums have gotten this Dynamax problem sorted now. Let's keep out, keep up the pace, Moon Man. There's only one Pokemon Stadium with Dynamax trouble left. Let's finish this already. You know, if he handled all the Dynamax Pokemon by the time I traveled here, I'm pretty sure my map would have showed, you know, no Dynamax Pokemon here. So it's a little odd, just just a tiny bit. All right, let's go finish this one and then go to him. <laughs> gonna go to the stone side or whatever one one that doesn't have a mega oh I should probably heal I did take some damage that would be smart correct yes yeah, smart use some brain I'll use some brain I speak well the English is good
All right. So which one was this? The Rock Gym? Rock Gym. All right. It means they should be mostly physically defensive. That means the Dynamax Cannon is going to absolutely obliterate whatever's there. Get to safety, you three. I don't remember his voice. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? Then... We're here to help, not be helped. Oh, actually, I didn't realize who I was talking to. Moo Man's here, so everyone can relax. I was just thinking over how to handle all the Dynamax Pokemon. With all of you here, we can each take one of them on. I'll sorry to the pitch. Okay, sure. Well, hi, Gigalith. Quite the physically defensive Pokemon. Huh. This could be bad. He's a rock. I don't know if he's rock ground, but even if he's not rock ground, I'm pretty sure he has ground moves. And I'm a poison type. This, I mean, we'll just take a chance it. Why not? Maybe we'll live. We got hit with a super effective move last time, but it wasn't stab, so. But then again, Gigalith shouldn't have a lot of special defense. I know he's a lot of physical defense. He might have a lot of both. I don't know. Eesh. Two shot. Let's see what. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's going to hurt tremendously. All right. Didn't hurt as much as the ice one. So we're good. Uh, maybe we're not good. The special defense went up. That's. That's real iffy. I mean, I did two thirds basically, so I should still knock him out. I mean, there's, I'm not playing in Nuzlocke. We're just gonna, we're gonna, this is for science. For science, for everybody watching. All right, we're good. Down goes Gigalith. Nice work, everyone. No one's hurt, are they? <laughs> just barely. Battling a Dynamax Pokemon all on your own is pretty hard work. <laughs> I expected nothing less from you, Moon Man. You seem like quite the reliable trainer too, Hop. I do? Looks like he ain't used to compliments. Look, he's got a grin wider than that of Meowth. I do not. Shut your gob, Pierce. I'll take care of the Pokemon we battled, so there's no need for any of you to worry, all right? Moonman, it's hardly a reward for what you've done for me, but please take a copy of my card. If anything comes up, please contact me. All right, then. I wish you all the best of luck for the future. Okay, that should be all of them. Then we're going to get a call. Right. I think that's all the stadium sorted now. We didn't miss any, did we, Moon Man? All that's left is to catch those sword and shield weirdos. If we don't find them quick, they could just start all this up again. Wasn't Professor Sonia supposed to be looking into where those two might be? And once we find them again, we're gonna take them right down. There's the phone call. That's your on phone, eh, Moon Man? It's got to be Sonia. Moon Man? It's me, Sonia. Called it. The sword and shield weirdo has gotten to Hamlock Stadium and are headed for the energy plant. The door to the plant's locked, but I think it can, I can get it open. Give me a bit and you'll be able to get in there. You hear that? Hamlock Stadium. Get over there as soon as you can. Even over the phone, Sonya sure sounds lively. We should hurry to Hamlock Stadium. All right. Onward to Hammerlock Stadium, I guess. Back there, I should say. All right, we're going to heal our Pokemon, but before we continue, I think I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Not because I want to end it early or anything. It's just I want to end it 
before we get stuck up into the next thing that could last 20 minutes. Because I feel like going to them and talking to them is going to have a big long cutscene. We're going to have a lot to talk about. It's going to be a whole nother episode. Whole bunch coming down. So we're going to end it here, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you enjoyed it, leave a like down below or hit that subscribe button if you want to keep up to date with everything we do and what we play. And I will see you guys for the next episode of Pokemon Sword. See you guys later.